Good morning. <clears throat> January 28th. It's Joe LaRocca, Adjunct Joe, film reviewer, filmmaker, influencer. I'm done with TV shows. Sick of TV shows. Or hour long drama shows, I should say. Sick of them. Uh, so few of them land, you know? It's like. They have a season or two that's good, and then it turns to crap. And I have many, I think we're on the downturn, personally, of this great TV revolution that started, you know, nearly 20 years ago, if not more than that, with The Sopranos. Yeah, I just think that there's so few, maybe Mad Men and Breaking Bad and The Wire and a few others, like, landed, you know? But usually it's just like... Oh, one of the cast members is a pedophile, so we got to change it. Or it's like, oh, it's Switch Networks. Or, oh, it's good except for the two seasons that are on AOL TV Time Plus. You know, it's just, it's a disaster. Um, I think the kind of seminal ones for me that made me just go, I don't, I don't care about this anymore, is Game of Thrones. Where it's just like, oh, you just like, you wasted like 80 hours watching this thing that just turned out to not be very interesting. Whereas even like the shittiest movie is over in a few hours. And like, it's done and you don't have to like, <laughs> I don't know, they've, they've delivered their message. They don't, they don't get to keep fiddling with it until somebody finds a way to make it interesting. Like if you make TV shows, they should not be allowed to be more than 10 episodes period like I think that so yeah Game of Thrones and then Stranger Things I thought the first season was great and then that was supposed to be an anthology show where they change up the cast and stuff and they those kids got too popular so they just kind of milked it and I just think the I think the garbage like I just think it, it it then goes back and ruins the first season you know what I mean like there's some great seasons of Game of Thrones but I'll never watch them again and I don't care because I know that it doesn't land you know it's like lost or something or there's just been way way too many shows that have been high profile that are amazing for a brief period of time and just because it's unsustainable like it's a miracle if you sustain it and I know there's fun parts about shows like following the continuing story and discussing it with friends and trying to guess what's going to happen. I like doing that stuff too, but like ultimately I can lose it. I'd rather have a movie to where I can, it'll, it's over and I go, okay, this is roughly what they wanted to do. This is the story they wanted to tell. Granted, they probably had tons of limitations as you always do, but it's like, here is the story. Did you like it? Okay. You can have a definitive opinion of it because there's not going to be like eight more seasons. Now, I know that this is crazy because comedy shows seems to seem to go nuts and are able to do it a bit better. And also, probably my favorite TV show of all time is The Simpsons. And I've never seen past season 12, you know, because I just it's like watching. It's like it's like I have Siamese I don't know, conjoined twins and one of them is just like an asshole. And one's the like most brilliant child ever. So I don't know. That's why today we're talking about a TV show. Because we're mixing it up. There are no rules here. It is one of my favorite TV shows, uh, 30-minute comedy shows. It is Peep Show. Can you see that? It's a little peepy show. Ooh. This is season one. I think there's like nine seasons or so. But each season only has six episodes. So you can actually, they're written. And there's an arc. And it, it feels like the same character from episode to episode. It's not like a whole bunch of different people writing these vague characters so that they can be changed every week without people not you know really knowing. Like These are characters that develop over those nine years that you get to know. Um, really, it's just kind of an odd couple situation. Like two dudes live with each other. And they're like 20-somethings, then 30-somethings. And it's just how they're both like pretty socially inept. Although one is really buttoned down and one is really like druggy, loosey goose kind of guy. Um, yeah, I just think the dynamic is perfect and they're able to like nail down some Gen X concepts that I find great. Uh, and I think it's really funny and really smartly written because uh, it is kind of a show about nothing, um, but way more so than Seinfeld because like not too many times do like completely outrageous things happen. I mean, 
a f- there's one or two like kind of crazy things, but it's over the course of nine years. Like one, G- it's Jeremy's the kind of loosey goose one. He ends up eating somebody's dog. <laughs> That's probably the craziest thing that happens in the whole show. That's pretty crazy in my opinion. But um, it's not like um, you know Friends where they we got another duck or whatever you know or. I don't know, married with children where they go to like their ancestral lands and fight like gladiators. Does anybody remember that? That happened. Anyway, uh, Peep Show is good. It's a show that you couldn't really do in America because the leads aren't attractive enough. And most of the show or the whole show is taught, uh, told through point of view shots. So it's like people looking at one another, which gives you this great insight into the characters. It really makes you feel a part of it. But they're just like they're not pretty enough. They're not. They're no Matthew LeBlancs. So uh, uh, I think that that would hurt it. Also, I think that the comedy sometimes is a little bit um, would be inappropriate sometimes for American audiences. Some of the jokes, and then I don't know. I'm kind of that's kind of not true. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think that they do it. They, this is like the British Office, you know, where they like figure out an actual story to tell and it works with the format and it seems a little bit silly which allows them to do like more poignant things I don't know um, uh, this is just the first season although I think that my favorite episode is season 8 episode 3 which is crazy to be that late in a show and have one of their best episodes it's called the fuck bunker uh, and they go on a they there's a girl that they're both in love with and they go with uh they go to her ex-boyfriend's bachelor party, which is paintballing. And uh, it's amazing. It's crazy. Uh, there's also a character named Super Hands. Uh, H-A-N-S, not Hands. Uh, and he's, uh, he's like uh, the show's Kramer, I guess, but amazing. I would say better than Kramer. Wow. He said it. Better than Kramer. Anyway, whoosh. That's Peep Show. I check it out. I think it's on. Uh, well, I know it's they're all on YouTube, but I think higher quality ones, you know, like real ones, are on Amazon Prime for free. So I, I don't know. I really recommend it. I think it's definitely in my top five comedy shows of all time. Even though I know the first half of this, I went on a rant about how I'm kind of done with shows. I really specifically mean hour long dramas, because you know, the final example I'll give is what made me think of this is that there's a new HBO show called The Outsider. I'm not going to spoil anything. I knew nothing about it. I said, oh, HBO show. I'll watch the first episode. First episode, great. Murder mystery, except it's solved, like, right away. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. You know, we've solved the murder right off the bat. That means something interesting is going to happen. And then the second episode, it's like, ooh, it's getting a little weird. Oh, maybe it's supernatural. Maybe it's like, maybe they just think it's supernatural and it's, it's all explainable. You know, you're kind of on the fence. And then by the third one, it's just straight up fucking Stephen King gobbledygook, like, you can just write yourself out of anything if you make it supernatural. You make it strange, uh, and I guess it's kind of fun. But like, I don't care. Like, I already don't care. So there was two episodes where I was like, I'm on board. So I just feel like you know, I feel like I watched half of a good movie with no ending. It's where you know, I'd rather have not had it. You know, I'd rather have not watched it than to have like, you know, give like tossed an underhand pitch and then not given a bat. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I got class soon, so I'll talk to you soon. Remember, tell your friends and subscribe. Peace.